Virgil sneeze. I know it sounds crazy. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. Look, you don't get to do this. Not after what you pulled with mom and dad three years ago. I just wanted to get them help. Help? You tried to have them institutionalized. Be honest. You just wanted them locked away with some that neat diagnosis. That's not true. With some proof for why they were never normal. And when that didn't work, you turned your back on them. I, what? Virgil, you're the one who uninvited me from Lydia's christening. Next thing I know, Mom and Dad don't want me coming home for the holidays. Can you imagine what that's like? I regret what I did, believe me. But you poisoned my parents against me. I was protecting them! And look what happened. What happened is that your parents died, and they are never coming back. And you will never get the chance to make things right with them. That's on you, not me. I can't believe what a douche you are, Jason. What? You are. I know you are. She knows you are. She said it. You said I was a douche? I wonder what he'll think of me. I guess he'll call me the old man. I guess he'll think I can lick every other fella's father. Well, I can. I bet that he'll turn out to be the spitting image of his dad. But he'll have more common sense than his pudding-headed father ever had. I'll teach him to wrestle and die through a wave when we go in the mornings for a swim. His mother can teach him the way to behave, but she won't make a sissy out of him. Not him. Not my boy. Not me. Bill. I want to be a producer with a hit show on Broadway. I want to be a producer, lunch at Sardi's every day. I want to be a producer, sport a top hat and a cane. I want to be a producer and drive those chorus girls insane. I want to be a producer and sleep until half past two. I want to be a producer and say you, 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 not you. I want to be a producer, wear a tux on opening night. I want to be a producer, and see my name Leo Bloom in lights. 